All right, we're on 75, which is uh, 90x squared minus 75x minus 375 equals zero. The first thing I'd probably recommend to do is, um, you know, look for divisors to get those numbers smaller. And you might say, I don't know what the divisor is. I'm going to say, you know, looking at it, it, it looks like 15 to me, all right? So I'm going to divide every term by 15. And, you know, 6 times 15 is going to be 90, so 6x squared. And then I'm going to look at 15, looks like 5. A little more challenging, isn't it? Let's write this down. 15 into 375, that's 2, which gives you 30, and then 75, which can give you 5, so 25. And 0 divided by 15, trivial, it's simply 0. I'm going to make some attempt to factor it now, and looking at it, it's a lot easier. The numbers are a lot smaller for me now. I'm going to say 2x and 3x. Seems reasonable. I'm using what's called known as trial factors. I'm going to say 5 and 5. And let's just see. I'm not putting signs down yet. I, I definitely see the 6x squared. I definitely see the 25. And I see a 10 and I see a 15, which do differ by 5, by the way. So I'm going to do this, but I'm still going to check it out. You do get the 6x squared. You do get the minus 25. And 10 minus 15 is minus 5. Works beautifully. What do you get over here? Again, I'm using the zero product rule. The first factor, which is 2x minus 5, becomes 0 when x is 5 halves. Or the second factor becomes 0 when x is equal to, the second factor is 3x plus 5, by the way, is becomes 0 when x is equal to uh, minus 5 thirds. Okay. What do you do now? Yeah, I look at the K, and what am I looking at? I'm trying to find those answers, and do I see the answers 5 halves or minus 5 thirds? I do. I'm good to go on to 76. Thank you.